Hello, everyone, and welcome back. It's another Isaac and Friends, and we got the Lich with me. We got a bird in there. I think you can cover it. Sleeps. Mm. Might help with the microphone's this direction and not point it over there. Maybe. <laughs> Is the cord in it at least? Yes. Okay, that's all we need to do. <laughs> so we're doing reptilians. This is the second time we technically watched this. We waited a little bit to try and give it some time to kind of wash out of our memory. Yeah. See where it went. So now we're going to try and watch it again. And welcome back to Lost Tapes, everybody. It hey. seems to always be a treat when we come back to this, and we're trying to stretch it out. Well, we are, because there's not yeah. too many left. It's like, it's the one thing everybody likes on our channel, but there's so few of them left for us to react to. New York City, 20, 2008. That is the X Men and the Stargate symbol. Wait, these Wait, have to be more than just directions. Well, I mean, yeah, it's just it's like the promoter guy said. All you have to do is just follow them, kind of like you know, following the yellow brick road. Yes, let us follow this. Uh, Keep moving. Extra nerdy symbols. There's some Japanese. This is cute. You're giving her VIP access. Dude, I'm her boyfriend. Dude, babe, don't even worry about it, okay? Like, just give me the camera and I will film everything. And it'll be just like you were there. Come on. Don't make us I busted my b to get here. Have fun. Yeah. Nice girlfriend, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna go party without you, and uh, just give me the camera. It'll be like you're there. Don't worry about any other guy trying to All I know get is me drunk and take me home. You know that guy was so depressed he called his buddy here, just like, oh, just come on, we'll have a party. Yeah. <laughs> well, he would if he was Irish. Well, I guess he left out. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I I don't think I would be I would be in a relationship with someone like that for very long. An alarming rise in the number of missing teens prompted the New York City Mayor's Office to assemble a special task force. Detectives John Sloan and Rhonda Ramirez were... Hey, look! To investigate it's the folks from Enigma Company. Yeah. A secret roving underground now they're detectives. ...abandoned subway tunnels beneath the city. Beautiful lady like you doing around these parts. Think you can get me into one of your parties? Think you can give me that math? <laughs> no, I'm serious. You give me your phone number, and I'll make sure you get a text with your own personal invite and all the details you need to follow the yellow brick road. Yeah, I got a better idea. Sloan and Ramirez <laughs> undercover with hidden cameras. Great work, dude! Party promoter Steven Spike. She could have just gave him a fake fucking number, gotten a yeah. Or, you know, you could have given her a burn phone or something. Yeah. They have gotten all the instructions, been able to send a whole group down there. Nah, I'm Inspector Dirt. Yep, here we go, mate. Uh, technically, I didn't make any deal, so I can just walk off. Yep. Mike Mills, in order to force his cooperation and lead them to the source of these disappearances. These are their tapes. That's coercion. You definitely get off there. hired me to get the word out, to tell people. Okay, who hired you? There was a post on the internet. I snatched it up. I never seen the dudes. I have no idea who they are. Okay, well, if you won't tell me who they are, then at least tell me how can we get there. 
It was coded signs scrawled down on the subway walls. No, that's bull. We've been down there. Brooklyn, Bronx, Manhattan, Queens. There's nothing there. They're there. You're just looking with the wrong eyes. Okay? Spike, we got a lot of kids disappearing here. You know what you give for accessory to kidnapping? Five years. I didn't kidnap anyone. I don't understand what you guys want from me. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna take us down there. Tonight. Great, thank you. High five. Ramirez? Good. Accessory kidnapping. You know how long... Except you have no evidence that he's actually really tied with anything. Yeah, he literally said, I just grabbed a post online. Not only that, but he's just being hired to promote a party. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's the party you're looking for. Reptilians or reptoids are said to be races of intelligent creatures which come from extraterrestrial worlds or parallel dimensions. They live primarily underground <laughs> or in caves and tunnels, that sort of thing. A common appearance described in the encounter literature is of a being six to seven feet tall that walks upright like a human being, but probably has a reptilian head, reptilian eyes, and scaly skin, like a lizard skin. The reptilian is not one of the alien types that's thought to be warm and cuddly, but is more sinister, more beastly, if you will. They seem to have great shape-shifting abilities, and we can speculate that they could take on any form through various means in order to disguise themselves. Reptilians have uh, nothing on their minds so much as a worldwide conspiracy to take over the planet. You know, and the way things work is the more secret. Yeah, but see, why would you want to take over the Earth? Yeah, Earth kind of sucks. And that's kind of a boring plan. Why are you so mean to me? I don't understand. We got off on the wrong foot. Hold up. Hold up. You guys hear that? Let's go. Let's go. Oh. I mean, it's boring and... Okay, let's just keep going. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, man? I'm Spike. Remember? I don't know. It's cool. They're with me. Just show them your hands. Just get stamped. Well, you got the VIP stamp, Slum. I must think you're cute. I think it's the pants. All right. All right. As I promised, party's right through there. Perfect, two o'clock. Hey, Spike. I mean, it's down that hallway. I also like the idea that they're always like, oh, they must eat humans. Why? Yeah, exactly. Why would any intelligent species eat another intelligent species? Especially when there's a lot tastier fauna around. Like cows, chickens, eggs. You know, the same crap we eat. Yeah. Hell, they'd have an addiction to just eating bacon alone. Yeah. I mean, it's called bacon. No. I mean, when, when you really think about it, too, it's like, okay, these are intelligent beings who have managed to travel through space and or dimension. So you would think that even with our level of technology and we're able to acknowledge that, yeah, it would be completely wrong to do that to another intelligent race. Yeah. They probably had the same thought process. They're not, like, this isn't, this is not, oh, go, oh, go caveman, bonk other dude on head, drag him to cave and try and eat him. These are supposedly beings that have been around long enough and have developed as a culture and society to where they're able to 
create technology. Granted, I'm nitpicking at this. I get it. It's kind of like the thing of trying to nitpick at aliens that are all tentacles or have don't have V's and are somehow supposed to be able to make this great advanced technology even though V's are required for that. Because you have to have opposable digits and a thumb to be able to grip anything to make tools and to be able to create things like computers and stuff like that. You know. They just take over stupid planets and get them to do. Thumbs. The wonderful things that they are. No idea and no interest in finding out. Now, where's your sense of adventure, Spike? Wouldn't that be funny if, if by some weird chance these things are real, they're going, you're poking fun at us. Look, it's like, yes, yes we are. We'll deal with you later. Because you make no sense. <laughs> well, then you can forget immunity. What do you mean, forget immunity? You yeah, have nothing! nothing! Lead the way. Good choice. It's not like he you're find should, you're at the door, have show. just left because your deal was done. And if you would have stopped him, that would have been suspicious. Mm-hmm. Go to the party. Don't look at him, just keep walking. I don't know. I'm going to take notice of the dude just standing there who looks like he just walked out with TVs in his eyes. Yeah. This is exactly where they wanted us. This is exactly where we want. They wanted us. So we're going to keep going the exact thing. What should we do? Go straight. Sees thing with tail wobbling. I'm gonna go on and take my gun and go over there. I'm gonna force this dude who has no reason to be here at this point. He just wants to go home and forget this. Like, here's the thing. I know it's really bad Lost Tapes acting. But if we're being completely honest, and I'm talking from the perspective of someone whose father was an Air Force cop, the thing about police work is in order to do a lot of things, you have to have proof on someone before you can even touch them. This dude is clean, basically. There's nothing they can hold him to for it. They can't get him on abduction because all he got hired to do was promote a party. Yeah. Which is normal. Normal, innocent, fairly legal work. People promote things all the time. That's how a lot of YouTubers make money is through promoting products. And in fact, on Twitter, we got invited to play a mobile game, but unfortunately, we can't because we, neither of us have phones that can actually play it. Which sucks. Um, but there's nothing really that this guy would have any reason to cooperate with these guys for. Because even if they try to nail him with something... A judge is going to look at it and go, no, and let him go. And then they get in trouble with extra paperwork. Because at this point, they're basically abducting a citizen and forcing him into a dangerous situation. Which is something police cannot do. cells in their eyes that allow them to see very well at night. Um, they can be very aggressive predators from the large lizards, and there's a group of lizards called the Varanid lizards, and that would include the Komodo dragon. <laughs> These are predators that display an ambush style of prey capture. Once it gets a grasp on a prey item, it doesn't need venom, it doesn't need constriction, it's just not going to let go. 
Okay, I get what they're trying to do there. They're trying to show us, like, the behaviors of lizards and stuff. Except sometimes lizards do let them go. Well, it's not that, but that. again, we're talking about a sentient race. Yeah. Capable of shape-changing, knowing how to work technology, knowing how to... They look know. like humans now. Not only that, but can use the internet and be able to sit there and post shit like would like human Me to too. promote party. You know, the, 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 these things would be at an evolved state where instinct would not be a thing. It's some. It's the kind of the same thing that happened with humans. Humans don't act like the great apes did. We are capable, because of our sentience, because of how evolved we are, to sit there and make rational choices based on information. It is not in human nature to run forward into fire, but we can train men and women to specifically do that job. <laughs> to go into a burning building to rescue people. It is not in the natural person's desire to get into a firefight, but we train men and women in our military and police forces to do that. We, as sentient and evolved beings, have the ability to make moral judgments based on the information we have available. There is no reason, if reptilians existed at all, that they would not be able to do the same damn thing. Ooh, cookie. Mm, it's good, cookie. I think this is Dustin's way of saying, yes, chess, now eat cookie so we can watch video. What the... <laughs> 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 I just love that expression. Great ceram wrap job, guys. I love that expression reaction is what the not the and not the fuck. <laughs> Again, clearly smart enough to use computers. Mm hmm. They had to have hooked up all that stuff themselves because I'm pretty sure Cox isn't gonna come down and do it. Like if they're smart enough to use chloroform and ram wrap. Yeah. I'm sure they're smart enough to go. Why are we kidnapping people when we could just go to Walmart for dinner? There's a McDonald's. That sounds so much easier. <laughs> Well, there's a McDonald's right around the corner. That'll work. Or fuck it, let's order Pizza Hut. That we can see in a larger number of planets, but it's all made of the same stuff. The real estate out there in space is pretty much like the real estate right here on Earth. So if there's life here, well, why wouldn't there be life there? Physicist Stephen Hawking points out that every time a more advanced society meets a less advanced society, it usually doesn't work out so well for the less advanced society. And so he figures maybe we shouldn't have any contact with... Well, well, first off, that's only because of the fact that usually the less advanced society tends to piss off the more advanced society because they're trying to get too big for their fucking britches. Now, there are cases such as what happened to the Aztec Empire and several other smaller things that yeah. thought that they could challenge people like Alexander and be like, we don't have to listen to you. I was going to do trade, peaceful trade with you and do all this shit because, you know, that would have been a little bit more lucrative for us both, but. Fuck it, murder time. Yeah. <laughs> Look. And again. This is also talking about Earth. 
where humanity basically, as we grew up as a species, living in a much more brutal world where resources were a lot less available and there was a lot less work available. Yeah. And tech wasn't around that much. Today, more advanced societies get along with less advanced societies all the time. In fact, the first world ends up accidentally killing the third world because they keep trying to give them charity that is dismantling their ability to actually work for themselves. I think wasn't it that buy a shoe, give a shoe thing where yeah. it was putting cobblers in Africa out of work because they were just getting shoes sent to them for free? Yeah. I'd be more concerned about that than anything else. Because it takes a lot of money and resources to just try and conquer something when you can just walk in and go, you have a lot of stuff that we want. We have a lot of shit that you want. Tell you what. Because it would be more likely that we'd end up destroying the stuff that we want by trying to kill you. We're going to work with you. You give us what we want, and we'll give you what you want. It's basic diplomacy. <laughs> Aliens, because it might not work out well for us. Holy Now that's the correct reaction. Mm-hmm. Why are you pointing the gun at him? Wait, you gotta check this out. They're everywhere. He went that way. Some of that is that's way above my Islamic syndrome symbols. Some of that is like video games and sci-fi. They did put whatever symbols they wanted up there, didn't they? Yeah. Sure, Sloan is this way. Which, why do they need this many bodies? Exactly. One human body effectively to them could last them... Let's get out of here right now. A couple days at most. Well, what do they say? I don't know what they say. There's a whole language. I only know directions. Okay, well, I guess the only way is down. See, here's the thing, too. If this was actually being done by the police, they wouldn't just have these two cops. Yeah, there'd be a lot more. Yeah, there'd be SWAT on standby. They'd be having somebody in a van monitoring both the cam feed from her and the other detective, which they would also have things like... GPS locators, all that stuff, especially in 2008. Yeah, as soon as the other cop was fucking taken, it would have been, go, go, go! Boosh! Boosh! Frickin' smoke canisters going down. SWAT cutting holes in the... With guns going off everywhere. Party goers going, what the fuck is going on? Pretillion lizard people going, oh shit! <laughs> Fuck, it's the cops! Run! I like how they have what is that? Do you see that? A effective freezer. What the hell is that? But just lay bodies where the hell they want. Yeah. They just stay here. What? Stay here. What are you talking about? What the fuck? You bet the gun, I'm coming with you! <laughs> yeah! Sloan. What? Oh my Man! I'm not sticking around for this! <laughs> Hold on, Sloan. I'm gonna get you out of there. What? 
He had a knife. Why didn't he just cut himself up? It's the ram wrap. It's so fine. And it wasn't even that tight. I need you to help me with Sloan. Get I don't even there. need to be here. Get out of here. Actually, at this point, why is he running off by himself? He has yeah. no means to defend himself. Come on. Come on. Get up. Bam, bam, bam. Target down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. When you got cops with an itchy figure, trigger figure, and we know that they got itchy trigger figures, yeah. they ain't gonna be. That reaction isn't. Ah! It's. Bang, 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 bang! <laughs> Diplomacy has ended. <laughs> on the planet and are part of the bloodline of every U.S. president, that they have insinuated themselves into the ruling class of the human race so that they can control us for their own ends. Yeah. <laughs> 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 to be a lower life form, the same way we look at livestock. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> same way we look at livestock. No, they wouldn't. Because here's the thing: if they can shape shift into us, they don't need to. Not only that, but if they can figure out, they have mathematics, writing. <laughs> it's not until a cow starts <laughs> fucking building a country in the middle of farmer Duggett's field. <laughs> <laughs> we shall cow play, call this place Cow Hill. <laughs> With military organizations and everything else. Huh, this cows are pretty tasty until then. Yeah. I like me a triple burger. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm sorry, but, like, they're portraying this supposedly intelligent alien race like they're complete dumbasses. Yes, clearly I can, we clearly, in our advancement of space, couldn't have figured out or created daytime television or and fast food restaurants. <laughs> especially considering we can shapeshift into anything. <laughs> I have an idea. What? We will murder all managers, all CEOs, and take their place. That is a good idea. Because I like it funny that it's like, oh, it must be every president, every ruling member. Why? You do realize that, they're, that they only have as much power as CEOs and the people are willing to give them, right? Yeah. If you're going to try and control a country, you would want to control more of its economic system than its governance. You know, if this was... Because you can basically just, here's all this money, now do what I want, Mr. Government. Yeah. That, that's literally all, all it is. No! <laughs> what? What? Hell, corporations do that. To, even the high Klingon symbol. Yep. Doesn't notice the video camera. No, he notices oh. it. Again, can set up advanced video cameras, all this stuff. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I've seen too much. We're shape shift into anything, but we can't copy their vocal cords. What are these things? Trust 
me. You don't want to know. <laughs> How do you know what they are then? And you just got a civilian killed. Spike. Spike. Congratulations. That would get you immediately kicked off the force. Which is weird, because that literally happened right around the corner. Mm-hmm. You're all alone, and you're not... How did you not notice him? The he turned invisible. Undercover agents John Sloan He did the Drax way of just staying there and everyone will make Police just assume he's invisible. <laughs> but no arrests were made. Citing budget cuts. Top yeah, but I guarantee you SWAT team went in there with some fucking right gear until further notice. But the secret underground parties continue to occur throughout the country. And the epidemic of missing teens grows. Are these creatures involved in a larger conspiracy? And do they live among us? Well, apparently not. Yeah, because... Again, why are they grabbing and Sarama wrapping people? Effective Burger King, cheaper. <laughs> what, a, what about... Where are we going to get the money? Dude, we can advance shapeshift. We can literally learn how to pit pocket meatball. Not only that, uh. but... It's a brilliant idea. Your super advanced alien wraithless technology nobody's ever seen before. Go to a tech expo. Yeah. And you, as some random ass nerd... And you pretend, and you get yourself a patent on Earth for this tech. Bam! Millionaire! <laughs> Real freaking simple! Something that's super revolutionary that people will want and spend a whole lot of money on. That you can have all the stuff you need to produce it. That's all you gotta do. Also... They could make really good freaking bodyguards. Yeah. It's like, there's so many ways. That... Yeah. But if these things, if these beings exist, it would be so much smarter for them to do anything but this. Yeah. We're from AD&T. We're here to install your system. Okay, cool. Come in. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> we're, here to, we're here to do your cable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as extraterrestrials are watching us going, they're smart at least, click. <laughs> <laughs> some, some reptilian out there just like, fuck, why did I think of that? <laughs> click. Hey, hey, you guys want to start some legitimate business? And Look, if we want to know how to make business do well, we just watch these guys. <laughs> they will explain everything. <laughs> but anyway, we thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day, and stay safe, my friends.